Hi y'all, it's Alice with Vintage Gal 18. So I'm coming to you with another set of flowers. I've been wanting to play around with my stamping up flower stamps. It's been a while since I use or create anything with these flowers. So I, um, I have my watercolor paper. I'm going to use a wet brush using my stamping up ink pad. Uh, I stamp these flowers using the archival ink. I also am using a very, very fine tip on the brush I'm gonna do let's see what color is that I think it's called daffodil on the Stampin' Up ink and then the brown one that I'm gonna use for the center is called chocolate chip and so I'm gonna use my flower punch that goes with or coordinates with this flower and um, it looks really really pretty I like the way it looks after that after the punching out of the flower I start um, to use like a needle right in between the petals to give it a dimension and um, I can't remember where I got that te technique from I was I've been seeing so many flower videos that I completely forgot it, it was kind of like a lot of the floral makers of paper and stuff like that were using the same technique and I had never really done that I was just pinching it you know but they're actually putting a needle right in between the petal um, since it's kind of rounded you know um, and just pinching it and it gives it a more definite look I guess because when I was pinching it of course it would crease however it was gonna crease right and putting like that rounded off needle right in between it gives it more of a direction so to speak as to where it's going to fold and give the crease so I thought that was super smart I wish I would have remembered everybody's name that I saw that from but I thought that technique was super cool and I'm here sharing it with you which probably most of you have already done this technique before um, this could just be a refresher like oh yeah that's true so yeah I'm taking a, bo a ball I guess a very thicker type of needle um, and just uh, bending it or pinching it there then I'll adhere another floral that I painted up already and just to give it of course a, a 2d I guess or a 3d look and then what do I start doing after this I will start cutting up some little bits of brown paper because I want it the center to look like it has some dimension like it's more popping out so to speak and I didn't even know what punch to use so I just started freehand cutting and excuse me and then kind of just rolling it up or scrunching up that brown paper and just adding glue to the center and um, placing it down however just to give it that dimension um, that more realistic look of a flower. So that's pretty much uh, all that I do to this flower. I create three of them and um, stay tuned for the pictures guys. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thanks y'all. Bye.